and welcome back to quick quests i'm sarah the koala today is the level 20 weavers quest materia concerns there's two quests in one so this one's going to run a bit quick so we found ourselves in alda at the weavers guild let's go speak to rodland rose So the first part of this quest is we're being asked to go speak to Mama Jero at the steps of Nald. Now the quickest way I can think of is running up to the shard outside of the Weaver's Guild, going to the Adventurer's Guild and then running up to them. Once you've spoken to Mama Jero, they'll go through some bits about how they tried the hardest, blah blah blah, and now you have to go all the way back to the Weaver's Guild and speak to Riddlant Rose again. As you can tell, I've edited this bit out. Thank you, editing. So magically, we're back at the Weaver's Guild. After speaking to Redland Rose, they're going to ask you to deliver a materia enhanced cotton actons. So if you don't already, I would highly suggest you go ahead and buy some materia, but you might already have some on you like I do, which has made this quest a lot quicker. So open up your crafting log, hopefully you've got all the materials, if not you'll be able to see on the right hand side what you need. And when you reach down to the level 16 to 20 recipe levels, you'll be able to see the con actons there that you first need to make. So you're going to need undyed cotton cloth, cotton yarn and of course a dodo feather in order to make this. So helpfully, there is in fact a guild supply here, so you can buy some cotton. You're going to of course need that to make the cotton actin anyway. However, buying the raw material, you'll then have to start synthesising that into say cotton yarn and things like that. As you can see in this guide, I've gone over to the level 11 to 15 recipes. And you can see there, I've got the cotton cloth in here that I can make and the yarn. Okay, so I've got a whole bunch of yarn, so now it's time to make the undyed cotton cloth as well. Now you might see a problem now. I don't have a dodo feather, so there's a couple of ways about this. You can go and hunt for this if you really want to, that's not a problem. Or if you're a little bit lazy like me, you might be able to find it in a shop, or just go over to the marketplace and buy it from another player. So I'm going to head over to the Sapphire Avenue Exchange and I'm going to go to the marketplace and buy a dodo feather off of another player. To do this all you do is simply walk up to a market board and then at the top left you can see there about partial matches or searching for a whole entire word so I'm going to put in a dodo feather and then you get a list of how many people are selling so the quantity and in fact the price. And it's simple as clicking and paying for it. And so now finally as you can see I've opened up my craft log I can now go ahead and actually synthesize the con actin. But now this brings us to part two of your quest. Yep, you've got your con actin, fantastic. Now we need to go ahead and apply the material. Now, if you haven't already done this quest, you can find it in Central Thanlan. I'm just gonna show you here outwards. You need to go ahead and complete the material one first, and then you'll be able to start using material into all of your items that you start to craft. So congrats, you've done that quick little quest and now you have the ability to meld materials into your items. Now for time's sake, this is a quick quest after all, I'm going to go back to Alda and I'm going to go to the marketplace I'm going to buy a materia just so I can meld that onto my con actor. So we're back at the Sapphire Avenue Exchange and run up to that market board and I'm going to just try and find a cheap materia. It doesn't have to be anything too fancy, we are giving it away after all. So once you have the materia and the con actin in your possession, open up your inventory, right click on the cotton actin and now you'll have an option to meld. Pick your materia and then you'll have the option to meld and it'll give you a success rate. So as you can see here, luckily I'm 100% success, so let's go ahead and meld that. And then as you saw on my screen, it's now saying to me to hand that over to Rodeland Rose. So magically with editing again, I'm going to go ahead and teleport myself over to the Weaver's Guild. I've handed that over, a short cutscene will happen and then I've completed the quest. And there you are, two quests, under five minutes, in one video. If that doesn't deserve a like and a possible subscription, I don't know what does. Take care guys, I'll see you in the next one.